welcome back to my channel. I'm Chu Chu Chang. So since my last video on the truth about working in Japan, many people have commented or messaged me saying that they understand and agree with me. And I'm so happy to know that some people actually share my experiences and stories um, on working or living in Japan. So that's why I've decided to do a Life in Japan series where I basically um, share my stories and personal thoughts on working, living, or studying in Japan or just my um, everyday life and I hope you guys enjoy. For today, um, since I came to Japan to study, a lot of people have asked me in the past few years like, you know, do you think going abroad was a good decision for you? Do you think it was uh, the right decision for you? Um, I don't think there's a right or wrong decision. I think whichever decision you make leads you down a different life path and you just have to kind of like branch out from that. But I do have a few pros and cons about studying abroad that I would like to share with you guys today. So here we go. Pro number one of studying abroad is independence. So I always get so surprised when somebody's like, oh, I don't know how to cook or Oh, I don't know how to boil water. And I'm like, what? And then the other person is like, oh, I've always lived at home. That surprises me because um, ever since I had to leave home when I was 18 and come to Japan, I had to learn to cook or else I would go broke or die because eating in Japan is so expensive. If I ate out consecutively for a month, I would, I would just, I won't have any more money. I also had to make myself learn how to understand um, house contracts, how to set up my own cable, gas, electricity, you know, get myself a phone and stuff like that. And right now, these things might not seem like a big deal to you or me, but when I was 18, it was pretty damn hard. And now that I'm 23, I do notice a difference in kids who left home early and studied abroad and kids who just graduated and just moved out of their house. There is still a slight difference. So yes, independence is definitely a very important thing that you learn when you study abroad. Pro number two, studying abroad helps you expand your network internationally. So, so the school I went to was called APU, Asia Pacific Nitsumeikan, University. So it was the international branch of um, the Nitsumeikan University in Kyoto. When I was in school in APU, we had students from over 93 countries. Um, you would get students from the States, Canada, Fiji, Estonia, France, Italy, Botswana, Madagascar. Was there a student from Madagascar? I think there was because I remember asking someone if Happy Feet existed in Madagascar. So my point is that you get to meet a lot of people from all around the world and you get to make connections. Now that we've graduated, you would often hear stories of someone like uh, bumping into a fellow graduate in London or Thailand or something. The world is not small, APU is just big because you get students from so many different countries. So now if I want to travel somewhere or seek job opportunities in some other country, I always have someone I know in that country uh, who can help me, give me some advice or you know, hook me up with someone else. So that is another big advantage of studying abroad. Pro number three, you're exposed to more opportunities. When you're living abroad, you'll be exposed to a lot more opportunities compared to if you studied back home in your home country. But of course, you win some, you lose some. So uh, for example, there are some things that Taiwan has that Japan doesn't have and you know, vice versa. But what I've noticed throughout my four years um, in APU was that even if I lived in Japan, I could still participate in these um, contests, conventions, job opportunities or whatever in Taiwan. But come to think of it, if I had lived in Taiwan, I wouldn't be exposed to all these opportunities in Japan and I would be kind of... Um, constricted to that area, you know. So generally speaking, studying abroad not only expands your horizons, it also um, introduces you to more opportunities where you could utilize your skills and I think that's another big advantage of studying abroad. Alright, so now to the cons of pros and cons, the disadvantages of studying abroad. Con number one is I think um, you would lose many of your connections back home. 
So as I said before, you can expand your network internationally, but at the same time, you'll also lose a lot of connections back home. So for example, for me, my network in Taiwan now is limited to my junior high, high school friends or elementary friends, and some of your university friends. So say if I were to go back to Taiwan uh, to work or something, I would have to build my network from basically zero because unlike the other people who study in universities back home, I don't have that network anymore because I spent my four years in Japan. So if you do study abroad, don't forget to maintain those connections that you have back home. It's very easy to ghost out on people or to um, stop talking to them because you, you guys are also busy or whatever. But if you have the chance to go back, go home for a vacation, remember to keep in touch with them and keep meeting new people whenever you can. Con number two is losing control of your life. I know many people who are good kids and good students, but since they left home, suddenly they don't know how to deal with all this freedom and time that they have. So they party too much, they sleep in, they don't study, and their whole life just goes downhill, you know? Now, I am not the person to tell you not to party in college because I was probably drunk half of the time I was at APU. But I would always pick myself up. Okay, not always, but most of the time I would pick myself up and go to school the next day, go to the library, finish my reports, get some studying in. And when the time came, went to work, made myself some money. I cannot tell you how many times I've been at the library or at work just hungover and wanting to die. But the thing is, I had the willpower, I picked myself up, got out of bed, and went to do something useful in my life. It's okay to have fun, slack a little bit, enjoy your college life, but the important thing, the key, is to learn how to self-control in the midst of all this freedom. And also drink a lot of water, that's also very important. Con number three, the last one, and I think the biggest disadvantage of studying abroad is losing time with your family. So when I was much younger, like a few years back, um, I would only call home like once or twice a week because I'm like, I'm going home in a few months for like one or two months for summer vacation or winter vacation. I, I don't have to pick up their call right now. I don't have to call them tonight. I didn't feel the pain of leaving my family, but now that I'm working, I do feel it because my time isn't as flexible anymore. I can't just up and leave whenever I want to, to go home to see my family. And when I do have the time, it's uh, almost always a week at tops. Like I, I cannot spend that much quality time with my family anymore. And I feel that pain now, but I didn't when I was a student. And I get so sad when like I can't make it home for like a certain event or if my parents or my family members feel sick and I can't be there for them or I give them a hug. And you always think if I stay abroad for one more year, by the time I go home they're gonna be one year older. And if I stay here for five more years, by the time I actually go home, they're gonna be five years older. And it's just and now that I've um, grown up and um, learned to appreciate my family and my parents more, there isn't one day um, I don't wake up thinking or I'm struggling with myself if I should go home a few years earlier than I planned or should I just stay abroad, go see the world and you know see what the world has in store for me. So it it's honestly a big struggle between um, wanting to spend more quality time with your family and wanting to see the world. And that is the absolute worst thing about studying abroad or working abroad or just living abroad in general. But um, now that I've been in Japan for around six to seven years, it's like my parents have developed their own interests and hobbies and just a life outside of mine because when I was a student um, or when I was like living in Taiwan I was the only child so um, they spent like 99.9% .9 of their time on me and uh, now that I've been here for a few years all of a sudden they're used to me not being there and I would just call home and no one would pick up no one would answer my texts um, or I would call them and they would be like, you know, in a hurry to go somewhere, wanting to hang up. And I would feel offended, like, excuse me, this is your only daughter calling. You don't want to talk to me? So I guess with me studying abroad, they've um, 
I don't know if this is the right way to put it, but they kind of like gained their own independence or something. Like I've grown up, and they've developed a whole nother life of their own, if you know what I mean. So these are my three pros and cons of studying abroad. If you have anything else to add to that, or if you like to share your own experiences or stories, please comment in the section down below and let me know. If you haven't seen my video about、uh, working in Japan, please click here or here, and it will lead you back to my first video. Also, if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you go. See you guys in the next video.